an ex-aide to Osama bin Laden, who now lives in London, says he has a vision for Muslim youngsters. Right. I'm sure he does. Yes. Um, it's, so it's not one we share here, probably. It's, well, it depends who you ask. I mean, so <laughs> Dipesh Gata, the Home Affairs correspondent, has this story, and it's it's terrifying. It, it talks about this guy Abdel, sorry, Adel Abdel Barry, who's been described as Al Qaeda's press officer in London, oh, and he wants to give youngsters skills and a vision. Uh, one of his own sons joined Islamic State in Syria. Right. So he does have experience of advising young people. Um, and it says that he, uh, uh, more and more details, this is just alarming, but also very uh, useful because they point to a problem that we have in this country with, with accommodating terrorists and terrorism. Uh, it says that he was convicted for his role in the 1998 bombings in Kenya and Tanzania, uh, and he did prison time in America. He lives with his family in a council flat worth more than £1 million in Maida Vale, North West London. So my constituency, as I mentioned earlier. and Where we've named all the candidates. We have already. named all the candidates. And he, um, he says that he wants to help to inspire young people. He's given an interview now. He was let out of prison, by the way, early on compassionate grounds because of the concern that he might get COVID-19 because of his asthma and excessive weight. So a fat, wheezy terrorist was let out of prison in America because the West is compassionate towards him. He mm. then came back to the UK, mm. where incidentally he lives because he claimed asylum in 1991 from his native Egypt, where he'd been imprisoned and tortured after being implicated in the assassination of President Anwar Sadat. So, uh, a worse guy, I don't oh, think God. you could he's possibly find. He's got a long track record of being a wrong one. And what have we done? We've given him a million pound home yeah. near where I live. I had to pay for mine. We've... we've let him out of prison early because he's a fatty. <laughs> and now he's suggesting hey, that he oh, might like oh, to you're a fattest. Talk, talk to no. the youth. I've got nothing against fat people. However. But letting them out of prison because they're fat. Yeah. It's when, mad, they are, it? when they are responsible, yeah. apparently, for, you know, assassination really attempt on Where President Where are our Anwar? security services? And Anwar Sadat, you know, he was the guy who made peace with Israel in 1979. You know, it says here in... in <laughs> He, he was eventually sent to the US in 2012 and two years later entered into a plea bargain in which he admitted three charges, including conspiracy to murder US citizens abroad. So, oh conspiracy to murder US citizens abroad, part of the, this, this assassination campaign, his son joined ISIS in Syria. We let him out of prison in America. We brought him back here. He's still got his million-pound council house. Oh this God. country's supporting him. These people need to be kicked out of our country. There's no well, way he should have been let back into services? this country. I don't know. I think they're asleep. I, uh, <sighs> they're either asleep or they're quaking in their boots. This is the sort of issue that I want to see our politicians talking about when they're asking for our votes. But nobody's discussing this. Uh, I mean, it, it's really... It's beyond satire, um, but, but it's all anything but funny it really isn't funny 